So I love quilting, sewing, weaving, spinning, uh, embroidery, and playing around with natural dye. What I'm wanting to do now is creating online content where I'm able to share with even more people uh, these different ways of creating. I went to school for painting. I love color. I love texture and line work. And that has followed me over the years into this direction. As long as it has this fine tip to it, you can kind of get into areas that you normally wouldn't be able to. Precision machine oil. It will go down, lift up, and bring your thread. And so this is good to do if you're going to be quilting. So what's really important when filling a bobbin is there's these little clear holes. And what you want to do is you want to have your thread go down through from the inside, okay? Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to thread a Singer Featherweight. You let it go a little bit, then I'm gonna cut this. We're gonna go down through the discs, and that's really important, is going through those discs. And with this, what we want to do is we want to go up through what I'm going to do is show you how you can create a weaving using some cardboard some yarn you might happen to have and that you can really just get started right away weaving can be as simple or as complex as you want to take it to create my line, okay, and then I'm going to create a line going across, and this is kind of the knitting size that a lot of you probably already have, and uh, worsted weight type, and so what I'm going to do, if I go like this, it doesn't break, right? This is a great yarn to warp. Okay. I'm going to go down that next little sliver. What weaving is, is basically you are laying what's called the weft yarns through your warp yarns. I created a little weaving here. This is from one of the classes that is in the weaving uh, club. So my first video for the weaving and tapestry club is the same video, but it covers both of the ideas and concepts that I want for both of these. And so you'll be able to see you know, the steps that goes into making something like this. That is from stuff you have lying around the house, right? You know, thinking about using cardboard to create your own loom and different tools with that. And so it's a great project to work on um, with kids as well. And so this can be a fun activity um, to share with them.